How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over effusion and problems that ask which gas will effuse faster and uh, at what rate, how much faster is one gas effusing than the other. So first of all, uh, what is effusion? Effusion is just the passing of gas molecules through small openings. So you can kind of think of it similar to diffusion, uh, or like diffusion of particles into a room. Uh, effusion is though, the only differentiation is really that it's small openings as opposed to like an open space. Um, but they're pretty similar, I think. Now, uh, basically you can understand most of these problems through something called Graham's Law of Effusion. Graham's Law of Effusion. And uh, really what this boils down to is kind of a, a couple of equations, or Really, it's, I guess, one equation. Rate A over rate B is equal to the square root of the molar mass of B over the molar mass of A. So you kind of got to be careful of the A and the B there. They kind of swap. But essentially what's going on here is that lighter gases or gases with a, a lower molar mass, you, you assume will move faster or they'll effuse quicker. Uh, so what this equation here does is we can use this to figure out how much faster one of them effuses than another. So uh, these problems are really pretty straightforward. I think that they sound a lot more complicated than they are. Um, but we'll just jump right into one here. Which gas will, I'm sorry, well, uh, let's say has a higher rate of effusion. And we'll do uh, hydrogen chloride. Versus chlorine gas. <clears throat> so I think really, once you get the hang of these, the, the trickiest part of these problems is translating the name of the compound into uh, what it actually is in terms of the number of elements of each. But uh, for hydrogen chloride, we have HCl, and then chlorine gas, don't forget your uh, mnemonic for diatomics, uh, have no fear of ice cold beer. We know that Cl is one of the, um, chlorine is one of the diatomics, which means that in nature, or whenever you hear chlorine uh, sorry, chlorine gas, or like nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas, it's going to be two of them. That's just kind of how they how they act and how they exist in nature. So we know that that is Cl two. So uh, first step is basically to find the molar masses of each. So you just run to the periodic table uh, for HCl. We know it's thirty five point eight grams per mole. And for Cl2, we're going to have 71.0 grams per mole. Now we have our molar masses, so we need we know what needs to go into here. And ultimately, that will help us find our rate. And just looking at these numbers, too, you should be assuming that HCl is, is a, going to be a faster effuser than uh, chlorine gas. So the next step, and this is, I think, probably the most important thing to keep in mind with these problems. I'll write it right here. Always make the lighter gas the lighter gas rate A. So here we go. HCl is the lighter of the two gases. We're going to make that rate A. So rate A over B equals the square root. So we're really only concerned with the second half here. <clears throat> We're going to take the square root of the molar mass of B. Well, we'll start with A, I guess, because we know that A is always the lighter gas, which is HCl. So the molar mass is going to be 35.8. And then we have up here the uh, chlorine gas, which is heavier, 71.0 grams per mole. Now we just divide this out. 
so we have 71.0 divided by 35.8 equals, then we just square root that. 1.408, I'll just do 1.41. Uh, 1 and it's really that easy. This is this answer now that we got is, it says which gas is a higher rate of effusion? Uh, the answer to that question is the lighter of the two. So it's going to be HCl. But uh, most times these problems will ask how much faster or, you know, that can be part B. Uh, this is how much faster. So if I was to write this in a sentence, HCl effuses 1.41 times faster than Cl2, chlorine gas. So this is, I, I think, you know, just in case there's any questions, since there's no units there, it's it's a, a multiple of times. Uh, I think that it's, say, you know, I like to sometimes write like a little sentence there. So yeah, we'll just do one more one more example of a, of a problem here. Um, <clears throat> Which gas will effuse faster? Ammonia gas or iodine vapor? And then how many times faster? So this is going to go all the way back to when we were learning some of the common compounds, I, I think for the net ionic equations. And we, we've used them a few different times in general chemistry. But um, in this case, it's, it's kind of something that you memorize. And if it's not on a sheet or something and you didn't know it, this is when you're going to be kicking yourself wishing that you had. Um, so ammonia gas is just NH3. And... <clears throat> Then we have iodine, which it says iodine vapor, but we know from our diatomic, have no fear, ice cold deer, iodine is going to be I2. So now we'll just run to the periodic table, check those out. Um, NH3 should be 14, 15, 16, about 17, 17.03 grams per mole. And then iodine should be, let's see, 126.9, 127. So that's going to be 253.81 grams per mole. Right there, you can already answer the question. So if this was like a some kind of final exam or something and you're running out of time, bam, all you, you already, just even looking at what one, the weight of one element of iodine is, one atom of iodine, you already know that it's going to be way heavier. Uh, so that will be the slower of the two. So ammonia gas is going to be the faster effuser. So right there, that's that's the first answer. <clears throat> but now we need to use Graham's Law of Effusion to figure out how much faster. And, and I think based on these numbers and these numbers, it looks like this is going to be probably more than 1.41, but you know, let's check it out. So we're looking at the square root of mm molar mass of B over molar mass of A equals square root of, and we know up here, always, always, always make the lighter gas rate A. So in this case, uh, ammonia gas or NH3 is going to be rate A. So that's going to be on the bottom. We have 17.03, and then on top we have 253.81. So now let's just do that math, plug that in. We should get our answer. 253.81 divided by 17.03 that and then we square root that and there we go we got 3.86 as our answer and so really what what that means in in English is ammonia gas will effuse, oof, that's a funny E, will effuse 
3.86 times faster than iodine vapor. So there we go. And I think that those are pretty, these are pretty quick questions. So I think, you know, they're, they're not too bad once, once you get the hang of them and just make sure you remember some of those. The diatomics is the most important because I feel like they're very common to be used in these problems because they, they expect people will miss them. So anyway, yeah, I think that's, that's really it for these. I uh, hope that this helps someone.